real though, Koi Koi Wars changes you. I played for 4 hours and I have an unbridled Koi Koi addiction now. I bought a Koi Koi game on Steam and I'm seriously considering getting this Clubhouse game on the Switch just because it has Koi Koi. I am seriously a broken man now. Do you think I was joking? Do you think this is a game? I'm always serious about Koi Koi, baby. So yeah, Clubhouse Games 51 Worldwide Classics, that's quite a name. You might be wondering, why would I even be talking about this game, besides the obvious reason? Well, there's two. One, I actually really like tabletop games like these. I'm not terribly good at most card games, but I enjoy a good round of Othello and chess, and there's also 49 other games here. Secondly, Nintendo. This is actually one of Nintendo's first party offerings for this year, and I was interested to see their standard level of polish on what is, being very generous, a minigame collection. This is actually not the first Clubhouse Games game. That honor goes to the DS game that released back in 2006. I'm curious as to why Nintendo brought it back now of all times, and also as to why people were so interested when it was announced. But here it is, so let's go take a look at it. Talking about the gameplay is a bit hard, since there are 51 games on display, each with their own rule sets. But with that said, there is a good amount on display here. We have Moncala, Yahtzee, Connect 4, Othello, Chess, My Strange Addiction, Uno, Blackjack, President, which is good for all you Persona 5 Royal fans, and simpler games like War, Pigtail, and Takayaki. There's also a number of toy and sports games here too, meaning that there's a lot to play around with. Each game starts with one of these little videos that explain the basics, and has a rule section to explain the game to you, making this a great tool for learning these games. Incentivizing you to play as much as you can are these medals, which you obtain for getting certain scores and beating the CPU at certain difficulties, and the guides, who appear on this globe to give info and to push you to games of a certain theme, and occasionally reward you with things like card skins and the like. Again, the gameplay varies between game to game. So this is more about the package as a whole, and it's pretty solid actually. The graphics are shockingly good for this kind of game, the HD rumble gives the simple act of moving a piece a special kind of impact, and the music gives a very clubhouse feel. I was also not expecting the voice acting. All those videos that introduce the game all have full voice acting, which is a bit goofy but it adds to the charm. They're also shockingly well written too doing a good job at being informative about how the game is played, and also being funny. Last card! No, there's a weird rule where you have to call out that you have the last card. Don't forget. Last card! Who are they, your true believers? Nah, they're society, waiting to pounce on your mistakes. You forgot the rule! Life is cruelty. I have complaints about some things, but most of them seems like nitpicks. I could complain about how Hanafudo only lets you call it Koi Koi once, this makes it pretty hard to get those high point games that I love doing so much, and it has cost me some matches. I could complain about how the scoring for President works. It operates on a placement system instead of a point system, meaning that the final round is the only one that really matters. I could complain about how these games are clearly not created equal. There are some games like Mahjong and Chess which are so complex they have entire tutorial modes, and right next to them are games like War and Takoyaki which are almost entirely luck-based. The sports games are pretty fun, and so is this puzzle game, but I feel like the expectations people have for it are what's gonna kill it. I have saw a lot of people hyping up golf and bowling to be the grand return of Wii Sports, and, well, no. These have a much simpler toy-like feel to them, which is fine in its own right, but it's a far cry from what they're being compared to. They're a worthy addition to the collection, but don't go in expecting Wii Sports 4. If anything, more of these toy games here feel similar to Wii Play, but I had a way easier time controlling these than I did anything in Wii Play, so I'll consider that a win. The shooting game is especially fun. The only big complaint I have with the game is the multiplayer. Let's start out positive. 
The game has online multiplayer both with friends and with strangers, and in my experience it worked really well. As far as local multiplayer goes, the game is limited to what you can do on one system, since many of these games require not being able to see your opponent's hands, but not all is lost. Via local wireless, you can use the demo to play the full selection of multiplayer games, given that at least one person owns the full game. This harkens back to the days of DS download play, and I'm all for it, and it's really fun getting a game together with some friends. The problem is, is that once you hit a certain threshold of players, the amount of games you can play is almost laughable. With three or more players, you can only play about seven games, and while playing Texas Hold'em and Blackjack is fun, that can only last so long. There's some really weird omissions, too. I fail to see why games like Yahtzee, Darts, and Bowling couldn't have been adjusted to support more than two players, and I hope that a patch comes along at some point that changes this. As it stands right now, whether or not you want to get Clubhouse games should depend entirely on what you're looking to use it for. If you're hoping to use it at big parties to get everyone together to play games, you'll be disappointed. But if you're looking to play it with one other friend or want to use it as a tool to teach you these games, then yeah, Clubhouse Games is a really solid collection, and I consider it well worth the $40. Didn't really think a game simulator would steal away my attention this much, but that just goes to show you what kind of year 2020 is. Anyways, that's all I have to say. I'm going to go back to play some more Koi Koi. So until next time, see ya! Finished.